back at the car and if you could see the parking lot here it is yoked um, a lot of mountain bikers you think people are glad that COVID stuff is over i think so hey um millie and i did a nice hike this morning got about eight miles done uh, i think 2400 feet of vertical and you know the thing about training for something like this is you know granted going up it's one foot in front of the other and uh, at that elevation, it's going to be, hey, take your time. Uh, granted, there is a guide in the front that uh, you're not going to pass him. And let's, let's make that perfectly clear. But I guess one of the big things is, you know, coming down. And our descent that first after we summit is some 12,000 feet. So it's important to also get gym time in and work on the knees uh, work on your quads. Um, I'm working on my core, uh, also working uh, on my shoulders uh, because there'll be a lot of uh, using trekking poles. But uh, really important to get your legs and and certainly your your core in shape for doing something like this. Because boy, the what it does to your knees uh, coming down, especially that much on that first day, uh, is going to be pretty serious. So yeah, we're working on that. Uh, you know, I get the floppy on today. Uh, Millie and I did start early, didn't we? Yeah. And, uh, you know, one thing about outdoor activities, I don't care what you're doing, but certainly when we get up to, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19,000 feet, you're that closer to the sun. So putting sunscreen on is really important. I'll have a little bit different floppy hat on uh, when I'm up there, but uh, I'm trying to protect my ears uh, as well. And those of you who know me know that uh, about three years ago, I had uh, was diagnosed with melanoma in my left ear and had about two thirds of it cut off. And the, my dermatologist who is also a practicing um, plastic surgeon, uh, but he took a bunch of stuff out of my uh, uh, shoulder and uh, kind of glued my ear back on, if you will. But hey, take care of yourself, take care of your skin, and uh, make sure you wear a lot of sunscreen uh, in your, your training. You know, the other two thing too about where I live, um, you know, I, I work and play at 7,000 feet. Uh, the Uintas, which I'm looking at out that way, um, you know, you're talking about anywhere from 10, five to 11, uh, which Millie and I will be playing in that fairly soon they get a lot more snow uh, up in the Uintas and then I think third week of July we've planned it and gonna do Kings Peak which is uh, the tallest peak in Utah and I think it's just like 13,585 or something uh, excuse me yeah 13,585 and you start at 9,400 feet so you know I have a lot of benefit from living in the mountains certainly and uh, you know it's not a pl bad place to call it your backyard but hey uh, a little bit on today's uh, training and uh, next week I think we're going to go up to the top of the peak and uh, yeah get up at 10,000 feet so anything you want to say take me home I want the couch air conditioning okay hey listen you have a good day stay tuned for more we'll be at it soon